don't. Oh, oh, oh. What do you get when you gather a chief medical officer, a math teacher, and a tech influencer, and ask them questions about the most pressing topics of today? We're about to find out on The Futurist, the AI episode. Let's meet our contestants, Chief Medical Officer of the Medtronic Endoscopy Business and one of LinkedIn's top voices, Dr. Austin Lee Chang. Known as Teach2AI on TikTok, she's a math teacher who teaches other teachers how to use AI. Sophie Theodoro, a tech influencer and one of TikTok's top AI educators, Riley Brown. We're playing a simple game with a major twist. In this tower stacking game, each contestant will pick a block at random. Based on which block you pick, you may be asked an AI-related question. Whoever knocks down the tower first, loses. Let's get started. Sophie, you're up. Take your pick. Which one will you choose? I'm very competitive. I definitely do not want to be the one the blocks fall onto. Riley, take your pick. I wonder if the other contestants think I'm real because of how much deep fake content I make. That's precarious. Dr. Austin, have your years of medical school prepared you for this? I don't know. It's a competition, so I wouldn't expect any less that they'd want me to fail. But you know, that just drove me even further to want to succeed. That's kind of how we work in medicine, right? Like we have to work well under pressure. Ooh. Riley, oh, you are in the hot seat. What's the funniest or most ridiculous thing an AI has ever said or done in your experience? So when the first person who made an AI text a video, they did Will Smith eating spaghetti and it looked terrible. But every time the models get better, it actually increases in quality. And so like, it is absolutely ridiculous, but it's hilarious. I had no idea that was the test model, but I'm honestly not surprised. Yes. Wiki box gets the grease. If you could create your own AI assistant, what would you name it? I'd probably have to name it Beyonce. <laughs> because Beyonce's reliable, she can do no wrong, she's the best. I actually have seven or eight AI assistants and I don't even think I could name all of them. Yes. Well okay. played. Let's do this here. Let's do this. Ooh, Wait. I was really impressed honestly that Riley was on the ground. I mean, he was really into it. Time to get horizontal. Nice. Well done. We know the AI space is evolving quickly. What is one trend you believe we should all be paying attention to? I call it the tribe of mentors, where the chatbots are gonna begin to get personalities and you're gonna actually have them be able to debate each other, which is gonna be a very fun and useful thing for a lot of people, in my opinion. AI is super exciting because there's so many ways it can potentially impact healthcare and helping doctors do their jobs more efficiently in standardizing care across the board and making it more equitable for everybody. So I'm so excited. This is just the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more to come. What? are some promising AI-driven innovations you're particularly excited about. AI is influencing healthcare in many, many different ways. Like during colonoscopy, we're able to frame what a polyp is, which is a precancerous growth, and that helps doctors be able to take it out and prevent cancer potentially. I think AI has the biggest potential for positive impact in the healthcare space, just making it more accessible to everyone and in turn save more lives. Doctors won't burn out so much because right now we're seeing a, a lot of situations where doctors feel very frustrated with working in a very complex healthcare environment. So AI has the potential to help them out a little bit more. But this seems to be working. It's almost taller than us now. How do you believe AI can enhance early STEM education for young children? I think it can enhance by making it more hands-on interactive for them because learning through doing is really important for young learners. I'm very interested about the future of education. With artificial intelligence, I think it has the potential to completely change the entire landscape of the way we, we educate people. It's ah. too easy. Punch it. Oh, Ooh. oh, oh. she literally punched it. <laughs> you got this. This is very impressive, but you know what this means, don't you? Question. What is your reaction to this recent AI headline? School in UK appoints AI robot as principal. 
I would be really interested to see how the AI robot would deal with a fist fight that broke out at recess. Ooh. <laughs> now that is juicy. <laughs> Riley, speed round. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. <gasps> Got a lot of swaying in that tower. Uh. Oh. Fast. Uh, Go up Up first. and out. Up and out. I'm not above a bit of sabotage. I'll tell someone to choose a piece that they might not want to choose. One, two, two. three. Three. Oh. Oh. And the whole thing came down. You know, in some ways it was a relief because we've been playing for a while. <laughs> we came, we played, we poked fun at AI. Don't come for me, robots. Thanks for joining us for this episode of The Futurist. Brought to you by Medtronic. See you next time.